Some people, they may envy you, follow you on Insta just to pre you, the way that go chat rubbish, chat rubbish. Hey, hey, my beautiful dancers, how are you all doing today? As for me, I'm doing fantabulous. Thanks for asking. Welcome to another African food mukbang. Today, we're going to be eating some foo foo, like you all like to call it, foo foo. We say it in my language, my Nigerian African Yoruba accent. And it's called pounded yam or pound o yam. Okay, that's the original name, but we call it a fufu because everybody knows it as fufu. Everybody. So today I'm going to be eating it with, with a four vegetable soup. I'm laughing because when I say vegetable soup, some people laugh because I have orishi wishi in there, I have cow skin, I got stock fish, I got goat meat, I got crayfish. That's right, in everything. I got everything in there. When we call it vegetable soup, it doesn't mean it's vegetarian. It basically means it has spinach in there. <laughs> okay? And of course, I know, I know. I always eat smoked turkey. Sometimes I should eat fish. I'm just obsessed, obsessed with eating smoked turkey. So let's get on to it. I know you want to see it up close and personal, baby. Come closer. This is how it looks up close and personal. Look at that F4, look at those pomo in there. That's your stew. Mm -hmm. Doesn't it look absolutely delish? That's your fufu up there. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's get on to business because I'm stuck. Like for real, for real. I got one who was hot. I got two. It's not done. And I got three. This is a triple decker. But now we're going to go with it one by one today, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that cow skin. I have been craving this F4 roll for a while. That is how it's looking. It looks so good. Really hungry. Really hungry. You know what? Out of all these people trying, um, trying uh, fufu and uh, uh, Nigerian food, how come nobody has? I haven't seen anyone try tiger malt yet. Delicious. Like, is it because y'all don't like malt? Let's pray. Bless this for the Lord for Christ's sake. In Jesus' name, that not have provide for them, those that have not provide for them. Let this video, let this video bring a smile to so many people's faces today. In Jesus' name, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Oh gosh, I'm starving. Oh, the texture. The smell of the food I can tell is spicy. Oh, that was just with the red stew. Now with the F4 vegetable soup. Mm. Mm. That's really nice right there. 
I like when my vegetable soup is crunchy. I don't like when it's soggy. This is how I like it. And the stockfish, the crayfish, and the stockfish in there. So you're basically using your pando yam as a spoon to scoop up your effort. The thing about pando yam is that it's going to taste exactly like whatever you're eating it with. If you're eating it with okra, if you're eating it with vegetables, if you're eating it with eggs, it's going to taste like that because the pando itself doesn't have taste. I'm saying this because people are still asking me how it tastes like. Mm. 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 What happened? I added more pepper. It's not spicy. Because I reduced the pepper at first because I was expecting a special guest. So when the wedding came, I added more pepper, but it's still not enough for me. Pepper head. Some goat meat. I'm starving. Oh my god, there's so many in this. So so many uh condiments. I'm so quiet, y'all, because I'm so hungry. Like, when was the last time I ate? Yesterday. Oh, I love picking up the stockfish in there. I love vegetable soup. For you roll. There's this vegetable that we use back home. It's not spinach. It's not ugu either. I forgot the. It's been so long. Like that one, you actually have to boil it a little bit before you use it. That one is more crunchy. I even like that one better, but. We can't find it here. I 
I don't have Pomo in oh my god. This comma is so expensive. There are only three pieces for 15 bucks. Apparently, it's hard for them to bring it into Canada. Just cow's skin, oh. Can you imagine? Mm. Mm. It's the gumminess for me. skin mm. So, today I said we're going to start on going deep. <laughs> Into. That's what she said. Going deep into the African culture. And we're going to start. Let's crush myself. We're gonna start from the very, very beginning, like like from the top. Mm -mm -mm. That's a what, what, what from the top. Get a bucket, get a mop. That's a what, what, what. From the top which is Africa the continent itself no Africa is a continent not a country Africa is a continent south of Europe she is between the Atlantic Ocean and the Indian Ocean mm -hmm. The continents because obviously she has more than one country in it. Boom. Did I say she has 54? She has 54 countries in it, in her. Now, out of those countries, I'm going to mention 10, which are 10 of the richest drugs by their GDP. And GDP is a gross domestic product, meaning the total value of goods and services produced in a nation's economy over a period of time. Now, mind you, because I said the richest doesn't mean the masses are rich. It's basically the richest based on the fact that the land is blessed with so many natural resources. So many natural resources, crude oil, blessed. But again, that doesn't mean the masses are rich. Another one. And lo and behold, surprisingly, the first on the list is Nigeria. I know people are going to come for me. No, Nigeria is not the richest. In crude oil, in <clears throat> crude oil natural resources, according to the GDP, Nigeria is. Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt. <laughs> okay, this one, I, people, people always come for me when I say Egypt is in Africa. Egypt is Africa, yo. 
Well, the people will be like, but they're not black. Not 100% of people in Africa are blacks. What? How, what? What do you mean? Go and see some of your brothers in Cuba, in Dominican Republic. Most of them, you'll be surprised, they're actually Yoruba. A lot of them worship Songo, which is the Songo from, in the, from the Yoruba land. And I will explain all of this, how come that had happened when all of this stuff as you go along the line. Obviously, we're not going to finish the whole thing today. But anyways, wait, wait, how many have I uh, um, mentioned? Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, not Nigeria, Algeria, Morocco, Kenya, Angola, Ethiopia, Ghana. Ghana, actually, Ghana people are actually enjoying 10 times better than Nigeria that's on top of the list. And Tanzania. Those are the first 10. According to their riches. Mm -hmm. According to how blessed the land is. But Nigerian case, even though it's on the top, is a case of being blessed and cursed at the same time. Nigeria is so rich in minerals and natural resources, yet the masses are poor. Not all masses, obviously. I believe there are a lot of rich people also back in Nigeria. And no, Africa and Nigeria is not what they show you guys on TV, whereby people are only left with bones. And the, every children is walking, walking around the streets naked, no shoe, hunger has wired them, the, the downtown skeleton, and they will say, oh, donate one dollar to go to, for the children in Africa. Biko, like I said, there are 54 countries in Africa. Okay, I don't know what village, what country they went to to take those pictures. 99% of Africa, countries in Africa, not like that. They're like, Africa is basically, Nigeria is basically like this. Like Canada, except that obviously we don't have some resources. Which is constant electricity. You know, the governments are shit. Which is exactly why the masses are suffering. The governments are terrible. They only care about themselves. If we had fantastic government, Nigerians would be the richest in the world because we are so blessed. We're so so blessed with natural resources. Oh my goodness! And that's why Asian Chinese people will not leave Nigeria. They're always there. Why do you think they're there? Hmm? Natural resources. My dream, Biko. Why the heck did I just drink that like that? Bush woman. Like, out of all the countries in Africa, Nigeria is the largest exporter. Exporter. Of crude oil. Largest. That's how blessed that country is. It's just so sad. Like, I don't know who cursed Nigeria, honestly. Like, how can you be so blessed yet cursed? I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Somebody did something. Or something is buried in that land. I don't know. Somebody did something. Whereby God said, I'm going to bless you so much. Yes, you're not going to be able to eat, a, eat, eat, eat in it. Or eat part of the best things like something is wrong somewhere in that country. 
one of our ancestors did something that brought a curse on that country. Even though we are so blessed, like if you're Nigerian, you know what I'm talking about. If the kind of government we have here in Canada is what we have in Nigeria, people are just going to be going to abroad for vacation on holiday. If you have 24 hour electricity, which is part of why a lot of people end there, because a lot of people be asking me, some people be asking me, so why did you leave Nigeria? Because we don't have like, for example, 24 hour electricity. Not like we don't have the resources for it, but the governments are so shitty that everything that is meant for the masses, they keep it for themselves and their children. Anyways, that's a story for another day. Coal, limestone, tin, zinc, natural gas, iron ore, so many. Now, instead of them keeping those, to serve the mercies, they're selling those natural resources out and using the money to take care of them, their own family, the government. Man. It's crazy. Now. Before we start going deep into the Nigerian culture, did you know that the name Africa wasn't the original name for the motherland. Mm -hmm. No, nope. that was not the name that was given to the continent from the start. The, the Roman people are the ones that changed the original name of Africa and gave Africa the name Africa. Like, wait, what, what are you talking about? I did not know this at all until I did my research, spoke to people. Like, I wanted to know my culture. I wanted to know deep down. I went deep down. I'm like, what you mean? Africa is not the original name. So, what was the what is African original's name? Original and ancient name of Africa is Akibulum. No, it's not Arabic. I know it sounds like it, but it's not. Akibulon. Akibulon mean mother of mankind or garden of Eden. Now, I don't know if it's the original garden of Eden. I know I sound dumb right now for saying that. <laughs> but that is the meaning of Akibulon, which is the very ancient name of Africa. Before the Roman came and took over, the Roman Empire came to take over Africa. Akibulon is the oldest and, um, and the only word of the indigenous origin. Mm -hmm. So, if not for the name African that we call Africans, we will have been called Akibulenians or Akibulens. Akibul... Akibulens. I don't know. Now, when the Roman Empire came, they took occupation of the majority of the continent now when it came to take over they wanted to wanted to disconnect the indigenous Africans from their culture then and what is the best way to do that the first thing to do is to change the names of everything change the name of the continent change the name change the language change everything change the way to do things change the culture change the gods to serve Change it all. Now, when you change the original name of something, you bear by disconnecting the significance, meaning, and scarredness of that particular thing. This is what the Roman Empire did. Not only have we been robbed of our inherent way of life, 
all thanks to civilization. They are also being robbed of the original name of our motherland. Which is Akibula. Oh, Akibule Knights. Mmm. Akibule. Akibule Knights. The Garden of Eden. Mmm. Now. Hmm. This is nothing. Nothing out of the story, the history, that is huge. I'm just starting, okay? Each African Mobanga did, we'll be going further and further and further and further. So down, 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 down. We're going to talk about tribes, the differences, the war, slavery, even within tribes, within towns, within city, within kingships, wars, the gods of our forefathers, Songo, Oya, Ogun, all of them. We're going to talk about it all. And how, though people worship them, they're actually first human beings that had superpowers. And they didn't, people, they didn't, they were not worshipped until they were actually dead. I'm going to talk about all of it. But for today, we're going to stop here. just a scratch of the surface We're not in the deep roots yet this is just an introduction so how are you all doing today my Akibule Knights <laughs> I might not be pronouncing it right but I'll put the name on the screen Akibule the pronunciation is not that good sometimes think you wanna keep me I see you don't think I wanna spend your cash I will even if you broke my love don't cost a thing no that's not true because I don't want no number, no. I don't want to give you my name, no. I don't want to meet you nowhere. I don't want no scrub. Scrub is a guy can't get no love from me. Try to hold on me. Go and walk. Mm, go and work. Hustle up. And enough with the oh, you guys have a uh, 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 lion and snakes in your backyard. When I tell people actually, when I tell people that people actually say that, they think I'm exaggerating. There's no elephant in my backyard. The only place where you find stuff like that is if you go to um, South, some resort in South Africa. It's a resort. It's not every house don't have that. 
Let me just put a why I started this mukbang. Not just to introduce the food, but to introduce the culture as much as I can. Because there's really little I can do. Unless a lot of us go do our research, talk to our elders, talk to our ancestors. You know, connect to one way or the other. If you really want to know something, you can. You can find out. There's information out there. You might want you might work a little harder, but it gives me so much joy to know more about my culture, to know more about where I'm come from. I, I love to learn other other people's culture. Why wouldn't I want to learn mine too? It just makes me connect more to the ancestors. And like I always say, I'm only a messenger. Okay? I feel like I'm doing the job that the ancestors want me to do. Because I'm not only here to eat. That's what I'm saying. If you're only here to watch people eat, this is not the channel for you, honey. I'm here so we can enlighten each other about our culture. Because listen, civilizations have turned so many things around. A lot of us have forgotten where we came from. We've lost our touch with the ancestors. Like... We need to, like, there's nothing wrong with civilization, don't get me wrong, but you can be civilized as well as cultured. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love cultured people. Like, when I meet them, there's just something about it. There's, like, depth to them. Like, the way they handle life, the way they do things, the way they think is completely different. Like, those are legends, okay? And that's why I, re I respect people that, that, that are cultured a lot. Can date anybody so for your culture I was talking to this to this um, Spanish boy just because he was cultured <laughs> why did I do I just say that I just I just like people that are cultured I don't know I feel they just something about them I feel like the the ancestors favorite with you being connected to your roots being connected to the ancestors Knowing God, knowing Jesus, you can do wonders in life. That's all I gotta say. You will feel whole, like, you will feel not alone. Because a lot of people say, oh, Timmy, how is it that you can live alone or how you can do this alone? Or you can't? I am never alone, honey. I am never alone. That's all I gotta say. I got the Lord Jesus Christ. I got God. I can feel my ancestors are always with me. God is good, baby. Stephanie. video <laughs> until next time until I see you remember life is what you make it I'll see you Oh, 
when you open it and speak, how you smile. Oh, don't change your hair for me. Not if you care for me. Valentine's